was the Draculaise version of the i3WM and if you want to try out these dots then it's really easy. I have uploaded the dot files with installation instruction on my GitHub repository. Uh, let me show you. Let me open up the browser and just go onto the link that is provided on the description. So let me just go onto the gtop.com slash linux not btw so followed by the repository that is i3 draculized so here is the repository for my dot files and you can see out that i have given the detailed instruction for installing the dependency for the arts based distribution so if you are on the debian based distribution or the any other distribution don't worry you just have to search for the package name and install it so it's not that uh, much of hard because i just have the few dependencies to install uh, that one is the kitty as a terminal i3wm itself rofi polybar dons and mem as a screenshot utility have control for the uh, audio control and the port kit genome so that is basically needed for the policy kit authentication and we have the wallpaper utility and we have the file manager and i3 log is basically for locking your screen and our arc gtk theme is for your uh, application gtk theme and we have the icon theme and we have the brightness controller and this is uh, alex appearance is basically needed for setting your application themes and icon and finally this not fun so this is not um, too much of hard for installing it on your arts based distribution but if you are using the other distribution then you might have to search on the github repository for each of the package in order to build it from the source so now let's go on to the installation process so this is not that much of hard level you just have to copy this code and just go on to the terminal and paste it here so like this you can easily clone the repository so i have just pre-configured this command in order to work with uh, your system so you don't need to be worry much about this and at the final you just have to uh, launch the you just have to copy and paste this command on your terminal so let's just wait for a couple of seconds and we are there so we have the directories and we just need to simply execute this command so that is much uh, i have already installed it on my system because i made this and you can just simply use the ls appearance in order to set the gtk application icon so after copying that you can just simply uh, go ahead and open the ls appearance and on the ls appearance you can set the gtk icon and gtk theme so you can also set the mouse cursor and you can also uh, set the fonts if you like so here is the font i think so it's cantorial by default so we are not going to talk about the font and here is the bindings if you don't know about the key bindings by default you can just check out here i have just given up some useful bindings and uh, for checking out the further bindings you can just simply go on to the config directory and under the config directory you can just uh, you will find out the i3 directory and under the i3 we have the file called config so this is the main configuration file for the i3 wm and here is the another directory called conf so let me go ahead and open up the ranger and i will show you how the file directory hierarchy is here and under the conf directory you will find out the different configuration file for the donst as a notification dev one for the terminal and for the bar and application launcher so under the polybar you will find out the configuration file for your this bar and here is some script config file and launch script for this bar and here is the configuration file for the application launcher if you want to edit you can just simply go ahead and make some changes on your configuration file so i don't want to change any configuration file and here is uh, a directory for the utility that that has some script like changing your wallpaper and power menu and a screenshot utility so you can also check out the trick behind the screenshot so that is not a big deal and i have some wallpaper that is based on the dracula if you like the other you can just go ahead and set this wallpaper on your uh, in order to work with the wallpaper you must have to set on this directory so and the wallpaper works something like this when you press the control alt plus r the wallpaper changes randomly so i have just configured some command in order to work with these settings and uh, if you want to set the wallpaper from external you can just also do that using the fes utility and let me just go ahead and check out the i3wm configuration and when you open the config file you will just get the list of the key bindings and you can also modify these key bindings also uh, 
I'm not saying that you can't modify these key bindings. So that is much with uh, playing with the uh, so that is much with uh, key bindings. So if you are not familiar with the i3wm, I recommend you to check out the i3wm documentation on its official website. So that is much for today. Have a nice day.